What's up, guys? Kim Becker and Drew Christman here for your weekly AMA for the Colorado Rockies at Mile High Sports. Drew, welcome in. The first question, what is to be done about poor CJ? With his back, he's been sidelined, but Nolan Jones is playing very well. What do you think? Yeah, this is one of the very rare times when a, a guy being kind of hurt and having a, a bit of a lingering injury is it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing for him. It's, you know, you, you want Crone out there, and, and there are a lot of reasons why just – strategically from the long term, uh, you know, if Nolan Jones is your future or if Michael Tolia or Alaris Montero, any of these guys are your future, then you'd like to be able to trade CJ Crone for something fairly decent. He's a good ball player. He's a great hitter. He's a streaky hitter. And unfortunately, he was on a down streak. He was on a, on a cold stretch when he got hurt. Uh, so I'm not sure you'd get a tie. And now he's been hurt. So... <laughs> You know, how much you're going to maybe be able to get for him at the trade deadline. Uh, it's definitely bad news for that. But the flip side, is, as, as the question implies here, is that Nolan Jones has been doing well. Uh, Alau Reese Montero has gotten some extra opportunities since coming back up. And he's been playing pretty well. He's been hitting well. <laughs> it's sort of the case with Montero. <laughs> Actually, I think he's been fine at first base, and, and I've been happy with those developments. But yes, getting to see Nolan Jones has been fantastic. Um, but I did I talked to CJ just the other day for for other stuff, but just talking to him afterwards, you know, it, it's he's frustrated, they're frustrated. It, they didn't think this was gonna be a very long-term thing. They really thought quick 10-day IL stent. He might not even need 10 whole days, and it's it's turned into longer than that. Uh, you hope you get him back in enough time that he can get on one of his patented hot stretches uh, in time to to move him at the deadline because I do think that that's the best move. Um, but just for him personally, it, it is it's too bad, man. Like CJ Crone, I, I don't think a lot of people realize how much that guy has embraced being a Colorado Rocky, how much he's loved it here. Uh, he was one of those guys who every year was on a different team. You know, he, yeah. a little bit for Tampa, a little for Minnesota, a little for the Angels. Uh, he, he's jumped around, and he likes the steadiness of here. He likes this team. He likes Bud Black. He likes his teammates, all that stuff. And and so, uh, you know, and, and this is where he's been best in his career. He's, he's kind of found himself here. So I feel for him. I hope he can get back out there and, and prove to everyone what he's got. Because uh, the way, he, like I said, the way he was hitting when he went down, that had a lot of people thinking, ah, last year was just a flash in the pan. I, that's nonsense. The guy's been a very good hitter for a very long time. And I hope he gets back out there uh, soon. But back issues, I'll, t I'll tell you, as someone who's had them since I was in high school, it just, you never know. And it can mess yeah. up your entire core. So, yeah, the silver lining has got to be in, enjoy Nolan Jones for, for a little while. Well, fingers crossed, positive vibes. But yeah, those definitely linger. Okay, this next one. I love this one. If you were able to make one change to the game today to quote unquote fix baseball, what would it be? And this person says mine would be end regional blackouts and make it easy for fans to watch the darn game. I mean, that's the answer if we're, if we're going meta, right? So if, if you want me to go inside the game, because yeah, meta, the, that is the answer. People should be able to watch the game. That's it. That has to do with like TV stations and things I don't understand. That's way above my pay grade. Yeah, it's just, I have no idea. But yes, everyone should be able to flip on the television and watch a, a ball game. It, it really should be that simple. You shouldn't be blacked out of watching your own team. Those are some of the strangest rules in, in existence. <laughs> it just makes no sense. Um, inside the game... I I believe in realignment. I I believe very strongly that it doesn't make sense for some of these teams in the middle of the country to be stuck in divisions with Coastal. Obviously, the Rockies are the ones I'm most concerned with here. And I've believed this for a long time. I feel like once every two or three years, I do a deep dive on realignment. And actually, I, I've been meaning to talk to Bud Black about this this week because they just went on a road trip from – they did Arizona, Kansas City – and back home and because they've redone the schedules this year where you're playing inside your division less and you're, you're playing some of these other teams you wouldn't always before that was an unusual road trip but a far easier road trip and i'm not talking about the quality of the teams because right now actually the diamondbacks are pretty good and the royals are not but 
that's going to come and go every year, right? I'm talking about every time the Colorado Rockies travel, they have to go outside their time zone. Every single time, except I, I don't know, Arizona does weird things with daylight savings and that gets funky, but <laughs> right? Right. right. Th- these extreme California trips to the polar opposite environment, you go from the highest elevation in in baseball to sea level whenever you're playing Dodgers, Giants, um, uh, Padres, right? So for me, realignment is the thing that, and that's even before you get into the fact that a team that plays in the Denver market has to compete with teams playing in the Los Angeles and San Francisco market, right? They're bringing in $2 billion a year. That number's probably gone up in TV revenue and teams just can't compete with that, right? So, and there's another version of this in the American League team uh, too, where like the upper East, you know, the Yankees and the and the Red Sox and teams that have that much money. So I, I for me, it's a realignment thing. I think the Rockies should play in a division with Arizona, Kansas City, and the two Texas teams because travel makes sense. It, it, it wouldn't be quite so ridiculous. And from a market standpoint, that's much fairer competition. Teams that there's still some big markets in Texas, but you're not talking about Denver versus L.A., Right. So for me, realignment is is the big one that I think would make the game a bit fairer. That makes sense. I like it. I like that one. All right. We've got two more here to wrap up this week's AMA. This next one. Why hasn't Coco been called up and given a shot at second? Castro and Treo have been okay, but Coco offers a better power profile and a better defense. I think it's time to see what he has. Do you agree, Drew? Um, I'm, I'm always a little in between on, on these prospects who are performing well, who don't have a ton of pedigree, who weren't necessarily high draft picks and who've only been doing it for a season, really half a season now, or a third of a season. And my, my thing on this is almost always the issue is not how are the guys performing right now? Who would you rather have? I know a lot of times it feels like that's what it should be. Like, yeah, right now I'm with every, I'd rather be watching Coco Montez as well. When Trejo and Castro come to the plate, like everybody else, those are at bats that I'm not, you know, hyper focused on how are they going to do? Uh, that said, I do think both of those guys have value. And the only way to, get rid of them to make way for Coco Montez would be to, to get rid of them. And I don't think that's the spot that you're in, right? I, I, I don't think you're in a place where you're cutting Alan Trejo or Harold Castro off of your roster to make way for a guy who's still got a lot of question marks there. One of those guys gets a little banged up, then you can call up Coco Montez and, and give him his opportunity. I hope he'll get his chances. I see a lot of Winton Bernard and Joshua Fuentes and that in this guy. And, and I hope I'm wrong. You, you, you hope that some dudes do just find it late into their minor league career. Uh, Cause I agree with the profile, but, but you do, you know, you got to pump the brakes sometimes. Look at Nolan Jones right now. The guy was obliterating AAA and then he gets called up. He's getting to play most every day and he's doing fine. He's hanging in there. Like, I'm, I'm very impressed with what I've seen out of Nolan Jones so far, but yeah. he's at one home run, you know, got that home run. God, that had to have felt good. But, you know, I, I'd have to look again. He's batting 220, whatever it is. He's striking out. It's the big leagues, man. Welcome. It's Welcome. tough. <laughs> yeah. Like his first two uh, starts this year, because because Nolan Jones did play in the American League briefly last year. Um, uh, but in a couple of interleague games, I should say. His first two starts this season were against Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander. <laughs> two, no doubt, future Hall of Famers, right? They don't have that in AAA. So I hope Coco Montes gets some run this year, but I don't think he's playing at such a level that you've got to get rid of other people to make way for him, if that makes sense, right? Yes, Coco Montez is good, but so much so that you're going to get rid of guys who at the very least you know are MLB caliber, probably bench guys, and they're both starting, but they're MLB caliber bench guys. That has value. Uh, so, yeah, I hope he gets his shot, but I'm not sending other people out to give him his shot, if it's me. Okay. Fair, fair question. All right. Well, to wrap this one up, of course, we have to tie in the Nuggets and a question 
about the NBA Finals here. You're close to the team, Drew. Is Kyle Freeland the only Rocky pumped up about the Nuggets? Oh, interesting. Um, no, no. There are definitely other guys in there. So there are several Colorado natives who are, are super into this. Uh, I've been talking to them. In fact, I've got to get them together. Lucas Gilbreth and I, and Gilbreth is out for most of this season, so he's probably been far from people's minds. But we've been talking about getting that we got to name this group if anyone's got some ideas let's help us out we can crowdsource them the colorado kids is not good uh, <laughs> and most of these guys are like 28 now uh to 30 but kyle freeland uh, lucas gilbreth who i just mentioned pierce johnson colorado native big denver nuggets guy big longtime rockies fan big into it hyped excited nervous uh all that stuff I'm trying to think. Ty Block's not around the team as much anymore. Uh, he's he's down in the AAA, but he's a, a Colorado native, native big Denver fan. There are several of the guys who have adopted the Nuggets as their second team. Uh, I, I I was going to say, should I out them on who their first team is? They're Lakers fan. They're Lakers people. They're there. You've got Mike Mustakis and Ryan McMahon are the big. Uh, there now now in in Max favor he's a California kid. Uh Ryan Mac uh, grew up in California, you know, played high school football out there. He he grew up a a Lakers and I'm like a little bit of a Dodgers fan. <laughs> Sorry yeah, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh but but also Ryan Mac is one of those guys who's full on I am where I am. This is my city. This is my team, Colorado guy. So there was one day, I think Moustakis, who has a similar situation, came in when they were playing each other and he had a Nuggets jersey on, but Lakers shorts on. And like, I died a little bit inside. I was like, I don't, I don't think that's allowed, man. <laughs> I think in that situation, you got to pick one. You have to pick, but I do think against Miami, I don't know that there's anybody in the Rockies clubhouse who's a, a Miami guy. So I think at this point, everyone... Now, Freeland's walking in every day wearing the jerseys, wearing the hoodies. Like, Freeland is a full-on super fan. Freeland would be doing this if he wasn't a professional athlete. He's just one of us. He's just from here. He wants the Nuggets to win. Um, but yeah, every almost all the Rockies at this point are on board. with. And it makes sense. You're loyal to your home team and to the team that... Now you play for the same state. Makes sense. I like it both. I get it. Both ways. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 have, they have a lot of fun with it. Well, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone tuning in here at Mile High Sports. I appreciate you. Bye.